Hey guys, so we do have the new Galaxy C5 and I wanted to do a bend, knife and burn test on the device to see how durable it is. It is a very beautiful metallic phone here and we're going to check out uh, if it can withstand some day-to-day -day use as well as you know uh, some heavy use. So we're going to check it out here. Uh, we're just going to start off with the display and we're going to see if we can make any marks on it so this is coming with a 5.2 inch display and it is uh, covered I think with Gorilla Glass uh, so let's see if we can get a good focus here see straight away it doesn't seem to be anything really happening with this tough glass here so that uh, is quite nice uh, we do have the back as well which you can see does actually mark with the knife here you can you see that so those marks aren't coming off you can also use a big knife and you can see Again, we're getting a lot of marks here. So it doesn't seem to be the high grade aluminum, I think that you can find in the iPhone uh, for the protection. So we'll look at the lens here. So just made some little can't see any uh, problems with that, uh, but maybe you still should uh, keep it away from keys because I'm not really trusting the durability of the back here. Uh, we're just going to have a look at the durability of the device in terms of the sitting in your back pocket uh, because obviously all earlier generation phones did uh, bend like uh, iPhones, so I'm just going to see if we can bend this here. Gonna apply some pressure. Oh, that's quite strong actually. I was thinking it would bend quite quickly. Let's try from this side. Ah, oh, Jesus, that is quite strong. Uh, so you probably need a professional kind of uh, bender. Like I've seen some people with, uh, you know, those tools which can bend phones if you really want to bend it. But I think if it's in your pocket, uh, there's very little chance of it b bending. And I'm putting all my weight on here. <sighs> no, nope, can't bend this. Uh, maybe someone else who's stronger could, but uh, that uh, is pretty nice here. Let's just have a look at the display uh, durability when it comes to the uh, the fire here. So we're going to write up a match. Don't try this at home, obviously. And we're going to see the durability here of this display oh you can see straight away there is a mark come there can you see them <sighs> so let's just have a look at that and see if it uh, comes out or was it will it stay as permanent Hmm. Seems to have gone already. Nice. So 
Let's just try that again. And we'll just hold it on for a little bit longer this time. Careful not to burn my house down. That would be a bit silly. Oh, this one's burning fast. <laughs> Seriously, don't try that at home. Uh, but you can see, maybe that wasn't the best one. Let's just try that again. That one burned really fast. Don't go out on me. So there's marks coming, but I don't know if they are permanent, to be honest. <sighs> wow, tough screen. So as far as I'm aware, you know, I can see uh, there isn't uh, much residue from putting a match to it. Maybe if you had a flamethrower or something, you'd get more result there. Uh, but overall, I think, uh, you know, you can see it's quite a tough device. The only issue is the back here, which does seem to be liable to scratching as well as the sides. Uh, so do bear that in mind. Uh, obviously, the lens is also quite tough here. And the actual durability of the, the actual frame seems to be quite strong. Uh, so, yeah, just a quick durability test with the Galaxy C5. Uh, if you want to see anything else, do let me know. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.